this bathroom I'm doing. There's a few issues with this. It's um, condensation and mould problems. As you can see, there's an extractor fan there, but there is no windows in here or in the hallway. So it's got a few issues uh, with the woodwork going yellow and, like I say, the mould on the ceiling. Which I'll just give you a quick look round. Now that's a textured ceiling and to be honest you don't want a textured ceiling in an enclosed bathroom like this really. Um, it's better with a smooth ceiling. So first of all what I'm going to do is wash down the ceiling. Um, I've got a bucket of warm water with a small amount of bleach in there, and I mean a small amount. Uh, so I'm going to wash down the ceiling with that and allow that to soak into the Artex because I don't think it's ever been sealed proper. And what that'll do is it'll kill the mould and then when that's dried off I'm going to give it two coats of bathroom paint and that's what I'm using. A Dulux bathroom paint which has got uh, mould inhibitor in it so uh, it resists moisture and steam and that's what I'm putting on, that's a soft sheen. So I can work above the bath and get right into the corner where I'll show you in a minute where people have struggled when they're cutting in. What I do is there's a lot of dust sheets underneath that one to give it a nice sponge and then you, you make sure it's nicely wedged to the side but there's nice dust sheets underneath to give it a bit of uh, protection. One on the back of your steps against the tile that's actually covering up a handrail that um, and that's how you work above a bath and you can step on your ladders and you can keep most of your weight on that foot and a little bit on this side of the bath. Well, I'll just show you while I'm up here now. The cutting in. Not very good at all. And that's because people struggle. A bit closer look at the mould. Taking your cloth, you can give the whole ceiling a good rub. And some of the moulds you'll find will just rub off. It depends what it's been coated up with. You see that bit there. There you go. A lot of it will just rub off. And then around the edge of the tile there, you can wet it with your cloth and then usually it'll scrape off because you can use a little scraper just to scrape it back without scratching the tile you see it coming off there it might take a little bit but it gives a lot better job the camera's steaming up there that's the ceiling washed down and all around the edge of the tile has been uh, cleaned off now. We'll just have a quick look at that. A lot better. And I've cleaned off around the light socket as well, uh, the switch. There's no point in having paint over everything. So the next stage is down now to the preparation. A bit of sanding, clean the walls off of any lumps. See a lump there on the Artex, on the flat piece. Well, I'm going to get rid of things like that, give it a sand down and make sure it's nice and neat round. And then there's a few other little issues. There's a bit of paint being coming off down here, which I've just scraped it back. And there's a bit of a hole there. So what I'm about to do is put some foam in there and then a bit of polyfiller over that bit there. See under the radiator there is pretty bad. That's, I'll show you how to treat that after. Right then. So, 
separation of the uh, ceiling and woodwork now. Bit of sanding, get rid of all the lumps, do any filling. I'm ready to paint the ceiling now. Um, I've got a new tin of the bathroom paint. They've changed the livery a bit on it. So this is the one I'm going to use. Never e they're never easy to open, but use a screwdriver down the side. Right, it's not too bad that, but always give it a stir up. Wipe your paint off your lid first and then stir it up. Got a roller, a medium pile, and then this textured ceiling, paint scuttle. Got me paint kettle, small brush for any small areas, and a two inch synthetic to cut in around the ceiling. So once you've stirred your paint up, pour a bit into your paint scuttle and pour a bit in your paint kettle, and then you're ready to cut in. So once you've cut in all the ceiling, you can roll it. I'll show you little bits. Cutting in, trying to not get any on the tiles. Basically that's it all around the ceiling. Um, if you do get any on the tiles, just wipe it off with your cloth. That's the cutting in done. And I've actually painted that conduit as well. And I've cut in all around the ceiling. So it's time to roll it now. So what you want to do is roll it in squares. I've also cut in around the light. So Taking a nice dip out of your roller bucket. I'm not going to use a roll uh, a roller pole in here. It's that small. You just spread your paint out on the ceiling. And basically, that's it. Just don't touch the wall. Repeat that process all over the ceiling. I'll show you that once it's done. Make sure you spread it out nice and evenly. Alright, that's the first coat on now. So I'm going to leave that till tomorrow to second coat it because it needs um, at least five hours between coats. So I'm going to leave it till tomorrow. Alright, see the rust all underneath the radiator there. So what you want to do is give it a scrape off. Once you've scraped the loose off, give it a light sand down. And then once you've done all the preparation, you can paint it. I'll show you that in a minute. I've done the prep. This is what I'm using. And that's Fortress, an anti-rust primer. So I'll give it a good stir up. I'm just using the Fitch. You want to be liberal with it. I mean, it might need two coats, but uh, you just see how it goes. I mean, to be honest, I probably will give it two coats. So let that first coat dry and then put a second coat on. And then you can put two coats of radiator paint on that. <laughs> 